let us look at um, CH51. As a logogram, this sign made it both into linear A and linear B. As luck would have it, we actually know the Mycenaean word for it, hakana, which is fasgana. Now, tra traditionally, this word was translated as a sword. In Homer, it is a weapon used for close combat, and Mycenaean has shown that it is smaller than a sword, a dagger. Once again, no Indo-European etymology is even remotely in sight, and that we are dealing with a loan word is obvious, and further strongly suggested by the fact that alongside fazg, we also get svag in svadzo, svage, which is normally loosely translated as to kill. But if you look closely, you can see that in Homer, it is always used for killing cattle by cutting the throat. In other words, just what you would use the fazganon for. And there, I think, we have it, hiding in plain sight. I think that this sign thus had a double history. It survived practically unaltered as a logogram, or indeed it could have been remade practically at any time. As a syllabogram, it underwent some moderate changes. If we look at the earliest attestation of the sign in linear A, namely in the Festos record, dating back to middle manual to B or so, we can still uh, very clearly make out the pommel at the bottom, the cross guard in the middle, and the blade at the top. Now, the blade has undergone simplification from two lines to one, just uh, like the sign for sheep in linear A starts off with two legs, hooking up the sheep from the side, but then gets simplified and is reduced to one leg. And that is, of course, the standard generic form which linear B inherits and is widespread in linear A from various sides already though the two-legged sheep remains in use for female sheep. And also, of course, um, when you look at um, the blade from the side, uh, this is what it would look like. But this early shape of pa is also still seen in uh, Aya Triada, but the bottom knob quickly develops into a second stroke of the same length as the one above it, giving us the familiar shape of the pa in linear A, which is then the sole variant that makes it into linear B. Now, there are still many gaps, and there remain good reasons to think that not all real world sources for signs are identical in linear A uh, and linear B on the one hand, and Cretan hieroglyphic on the other. 